TI Spartacus. Fem åtta vågar jag säga det. Five eights. The previous stone was a Okudo Suita. And that was just to remove the scratches from my uh, Nubatama Platinum uh, 6K stone. And now I will you go for a new thing I have started to do. I will finish this racer with lengthwise scratches along the edge of course and if you can hear my voice is quite crappy I've been sick for four days and my throat is not where it's supposed to be that perhaps uh, sounded uh, strange <laughs> This is the normal X stroke I do. But now I will do it like this. I have water down on here. I will just rinse it off here. So, clean. And now I will do like this. Without, of course, a little pressure, but not much. Just like this. Oops. Don't lift the spine. Just like this, a little bit, just a little bit, so I can see that I have some metal swarf here. Then I do it on the other side too. And this razor is a bit warped, so this side is really flat onto the stone. The other side is not. Just like this. Uh, some tiny amount of worth them. Now I do like this. Just a few times here. Not much uh, pressure at all. Just a little bit, just to keep the edge on the stone. And I can be rocking it up and down like this because this side is a bit warped. So, yeah. Just need to have this knife, the edge and spine on the stone. I've done this now a few times on, on my own racers and I, I think the shave was a bit better actually. Not much, not much at all, but I could have had a few lucky honing uh, sessions and it went superbly, I don't know, but this is for a customer and I will see in the microscope before I send it off to him, but I think I will have it test shave with it because now I have four days of growth so I can uh, I can happily just shave it off I look like a neanderthaler right now yeah how do you like my new light I think it works really good I think that's it. And now rinse it off. And yeah, even nice scratch pattern and so on. So I will now just look into my microscope. Again, use my light. Because it's a LED light, I can see every scratches.
looks really good. So now I will just rinse off all of this slurry and I will do just some really light strokes. We can turn the stone like this. Some really, really light strokes here. Just to see if it refines the, the velvety finish that you get from the natural stone. For someone that looks like right now on the video, must think I'm totally stupid. Velvety? What? But if you had a microscope and look at the natural finish from a J-nut, you will understand what I'm talking about. Fuck, my voice is really, really crap. And why do I do this like now? Well, customers first, sickness and family second. But that's one thing. My wife is also sick, so she's in the sofa watching TV. Well, let's see how this, this worked. Went. Well, I can't really speak. Oh. <laughs> well, I can say this looks fantastic. When I got this blade from the customer, he bought it new. Uh, no, he bought it on a second hand market here in Sweden, but there was a big, big uh, chip in it. Someone sold it as new but apparently it had been used by someone but it was uh, probably they had uh, cut into the sink or something like that well I will have a look at this uh, later with my uh, beard see how it performs so I hope someone could learn anything from this. Bye.